Hello, my friends. We're going to learn more about hand washing today. I'm going to read you a book called Those Mean, Nasty, Dirty, Downright Disgusting But Invisible Germs. Have we been washing our hands to stay healthy? Okay, let's begin. This is Rosa. She is five years old. One day, when she was at school, painting the most beautiful rainbow, a mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germ got on her hand. The kind of germ that can give you an earache. And if you could see it, maybe it would look like this. The next germ came along while Rosa was building a space station with wooden blocks. It was a mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germ. The kind of germ that will give you a headache. And if you could see it, maybe it would look like this. While Rosa was reading the most interesting story, a mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germ got on her hand, the kind of germ that can give you a sore throat. And if you could see it, maybe it would look like this. Next, Rosa was pretending to be all grown up when a mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting but invisible germ got on her hand, the kind of germ that can give you a temperature. And if you could see it, maybe it would look like this. Then, last but not least, the worst, most horrible, mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germ of all got on her hand while she was driving her truck to Alaska. It's the kind of germ that makes you throw up. And if you could see it, it might look like this. Now, Rosa's hands were covered with mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germs. Thank goodness Rosa knows what all of us need to know, how to get rid of germs. How do we get rid of germs? Before lunch, Rosa washed her hands with lots of soap and water. That's how. She couldn't hear them, but while she rubbed and scrubbed, rinsed and, and rubbed, Yikes! screamed the germ that can give you an earache as it went swirling, whirling down the drain. Foiled again! shout the germ that was gives you a headache as it went swirling, whirling down the drain. Whoa! Ah! Ah! cried the germ that gives you a sore throat as it went swirling, whirling down the drain. Oh no! St steamed the germ that gives you a fever as it went swirling, whirling down the drain. Now, do you think that was the end of those horrible germs? Oh no, there was one germ left behind. The meanest, nastiest, dirty, dirtiest, downright disgustingest, but most invisible germ of all. The germ that makes you throw up. It was hiding out in the palm of Rose's hand. There it is. Germs like wet places and Rosa's hands were wet from washing. Germs like warm places and our bodies are always warm. But being the wonderfully intelligent child that Rosa is, and as you guys are, she knew all about what germs like. So she carefully dried her hands. She couldn't hear it, but the germ that makes you throw up said, I'll be back, as Rosa threw it into the waste paper basket. Then Rosa picked up her peanut butter and banana sandwich with her clean, germ-free hands, took a bite, and said, simply delicious. And even though she knew that all those mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germs would be back, Rosa felt safe and happy because she knew what you need to know. Hand washing gets rid of germs. When do we wash our hands? We always want to wash our hands before and after we eat. 
What about always after we go to the bathroom? What about after we play outside and touch dirty things? Or how about after we blow our nose or cough? But it's always a good idea to wash our hands as much as we can because this is the best way that we will stay healthy. Hand washing is the number one way to keep you healthy. See you soon. Bye.